Hey, what's up? Robert here coming at you with another Sony Vegas tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to add a muzzle flash in your video just like this. All right, so we're going to be using a stock pack from Rody Polis. Right now, it's on sale for only $14.99. You can get it at the link in the description or rodypolis.com. And it includes a handful of many different effects, such as blood elements, bullet hits, muzzle flashes, etc. And so we're going to be using the muzzle flashes today. So let's get started. I have this video here that I want to import and add a muzzle flash to. So I'm going to simply click and drag it into Vegas. And I also have two different sound effects that I want to use too. So I'm just going to go ahead and drag those into Vegas as well. So I'm done with this folder. I can minimize it. And here we have the clips. And in this clip, you can see that we took the video of him just standing there. And then he shakes the gun as if he's shooting it. So I'm going to trim this clip down just a little bit, probably around here. I'm going to hit S to slice the video and delete the excess. So here we're just left with this. All right, we can make this a little longer, just like that. So now what I want to do is actually delete the audio. We don't need the audio for this video clip. So we're going to click on it, hit U to ungroup the audio layer, and then hit delete to delete it. And we're going to go ahead and bring in this machine gun sound effect. Just like that. I'm actually going to cut a little bit from the beginning and slice off the end. And then I also have this modern battlefield noise. It's kind of used for ambient noise. We can just add that and slice off the end. So there we have our sound and everything is all done. We just need to add the muzzle flash. So I'm going to go into the shootout stock pack folder. Go into shootout stock pack, muzzle flash, machine guns, star and I'm going to choose the star slight angle one bring that into Vegas and here we have the muzzle flash I can click and drag this down into a new video track and if you go through here you see the muzzle flash it doesn't look too hot right now well since this is already pre-keyed we just gotta right click choose properties media alpha channel and I'm gonna change this to pre multiply dirty uh, you can change it to any other ones but I find this one looks best click OK and then I'm going to slice off the end just like that and let's find where it's showing right around there open up the event pan crop and I'm going to rotate it and position it to the beginning of the gun make this a little bit bigger so it's smaller right around there now sometimes it can be such a pain to add muzzle flashes to the end of your gun because if the gun's moving around a lot you'd have to go in there frame by frame and move the flash to follow the gun. It's a little bit easier in After Effects but in Vegas we'll have to go frame by frame. I'm actually going to delete this first frame here. We don't need that. And uh, so the gun starts kind of up here and then it'll move down. kind of moves here move this down and then back up alright so let's see if we can preview that it's alright but let's go ahead and add a color correction now now instead of me having to go through here and adding a color correction for each little video clip all I have to do is go to view video bus track or control shift B and here we have the master video track. I can go ahead and add video output effects, add some color correction, color corrector, click OK. And you notice any changes that we make to this will be affected in the video. So if we want, we can make this cold, we can make it World War II. Let's see how that looks. Like that. It looks all right. And then we can preview it, but sometimes you'll notice that your preview is a little slow. So what you can do is select the entire clip and we can hit shift M to pre-render this video. I'm going to go ahead and leave the settings default, click render, give it a few seconds. And here we have the final video. So there you have it, adding a muzzle flash to the end of the gun. Now if you want to add other things such as bullet hits, blood, shell casings, it's basically the same exact method. Also, just to let you know, I got the sound effects from soundbible.com. Here's a machine gun sound I got and the modern battlefield sound. So soundbible.com. You can visit the site, robertsproductions.net. Go under freebies, sound effects, and you'll see soundbible is listed here as well. So there you have it, adding muzzle flashes to the end of your gun. 
and Sony Vegas Pro 11. And remember when you're filming this kind of stuff, make sure that your neighbors know what's going on, especially if you're using a realistic looking gun. So there you have it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.